I think a good death, it's very much up to the individual what they actually want. Some people might want to have a party and go out with a bang. Other people would want to be just quietly on their own. Some people might want to go at a time of their choosing and their manner of going. Other people might want to just let nature take its course and not intervene in any way. So what's good is very much up to the individual. Good death is uh, if you have no pain, you can die comfortably with your family around and thinking of God. That's the best death, but that doesn't mean you get it. You only die the way you're supposed to die, and you can't pick and choose your own death. Uh, I, I remember my grandmother dying, uh, and I was explained that time that that was perfect way of dying. I was about seven. I went to give my granny her dinner, and I could see that she wasn't breathing properly, so I called my mom. And she came, looked at my granny and said, go and call your father because your granny's dying. Uh, I called my father, he came down and he sat down on the floor. My granny put her head on his thigh and my father gave her the river Ganges water and recited some uh, lines from Gita and the next thing she was dead and she died very peacefully and then I was, I was very young I was explained that's the best way to die actually my father died the same way and one of my aunt died the same way what is a good death I struggle with this little bit because um, I'm not sure who we're talking about when we consider a good death and I think there is an implicit hope that we have some control over it. I hope that we can have more of a culture in people making informed choices about the things that happen near to their deaths and the sum total of them, those considerations will enable them to feel peaceful at the end of their lives. I am quite fearful for us having a society that thinks it can dictate everything about the end of their lives. Um, because our hopes and our wishes change, medicine changes. And also, none of us know where or when we're going to die. Um, I think a good death from my point of view as a doctor is, I mean, part of my job is trying to ensure that people live as long as possible, have as good quality of life as possible for as long as possible, but then when they do pass away, it's a supported and comfortable process that they and their family are as um, comfortable and prepared for as they can be. Um, so their symptoms are controlled, they're prepared as best as possible, and they have support usually in the community. So often my role is, me, is more to give them information and provide them contact with people in the community such as palliative care services or their GP services, district nurses, to help support them at home and to maybe explain the sort of things that might happen and, and what might be possible to alleviate any discomfort they might have. I think there's, there's quite a difference between how people would like to die and how they actually die in, in our society today in terms of lots of people dying in hospitals where they might not necessarily want to die. Um, and I think there's a real tendency for organisations and for people in authority to want to maybe own the process, probably for good reasons, for, for a kind of we'll do what's best for you type scenario. But I think that more power should be given to the relatives because at the end of the day it's their experience and it's their loved one. Um, and, and I don't think it's for us to own the process as much as we do.